welcome back what i am interested in now is right now if i want to get the ith element i have to do ln dot element of i now i want something better a better notation what is a better notation i would want to use something like ln of i right here it's one so i want to use ln of one for example it's an array like notation if i want to use an array like notation what will i do what i'm going to do is i'm, I'm interested in overloading that object simple as that so overloading the array indexing object so i'm going to return an int because i i want to return the array index it's 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 equivalent its type is going to be equivalent to this element type right so i just want operator and int index operator uh -huh. what operator operator this is to say that it's basically the array operator okay so this should give me what i want and this is going to just call element index that's it so now onwards rather than ll dot element one i can just write this to the school this is a far better notation than what we had there now let me see something wrong ah, so somewhere I didn't write the return type correctly ah, this is an int right, so this works and now sorry. perfect this is also done good hi welcome back Finally, we are, we are just going to finish up everything. We don't have a function which returns the front element, right? So I'm going to have, add a function which is going to return the front element. Just return front would do. And it's going to return. And also, I don't have a function which is, which is which will tell me whether the list is empty or not. I just added both of them. And now we have this here. I will write their implementation details. Return friend is going to return. So if head is null, I'm going to return zero. Otherwise, I'm just going to return head. That's it. On the other hand, so this empty, I'm going to return I. So if if it is empty, it has to return to so. Okay, now this is a trick what I did. It's supposed to be an int, but it's it's supposed to be a true-false value, right? It's supposed to be a boolean value. In fact, C++ provides that. So if head is equal to equal to null, it's a true value, so it's empty, so it returns true. On the other hand, if head is not equal to null, this is a false value, and it's not empty, so it's going to return false. So there are some other function also which huh, search element that also has to be bool because it's going to say whether it's uh, that element is found or not, right? Where is it? Yeah, so it's bool, and then I return true, true. Otherwise, I return false. So let me just compile uh, G++ list. 
good that's good but there are uh, this package is good for our use but this is not yet good for to be given to people to use it so there are a lot of things we can do to make this usable for others one of the thing is the node right now we have can only have integer elements right so this linked list is going to be only uh, an integer linked list but i would want a, a linked list an ADT linked list should be able to have make a list of any item so we'll have to make those we'll have to ensure that this linked list can do any type of item right that's something we have to do for that you'll have to know templates so we'll skip that for, for the moment another thing we need to learn is uh, something so uh, this is a if you had used python list a very useful property of list is that you can iterate through list from outside not just inside Someone can write a function here, uh, a for loop here, and which can be used to iterate through the list. You can go from the beginning to the end. We would like to provide that functionality here. Now, to do that, we have to understand a few things, which involves how to create an iteratable class. There's something we didn't discuss till now. This is something which is uh, fundamentally different way you can pass parameters in C++ to a function okay pass parameters to a function in C++ compared to in C we never discussed that that's passing a va value by reference that's something we never discussed and another property is same thing returning a value a reference value that's also something we never discussed so these are things which we will have to understand before we build this package into something which can be used by anyone. 